Sarah, I'm going to deal with a lot of your shaken problems right now. Because three sectoids that are stunned are three very ineffective sectoids. Off you go. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from heretic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back with more XCOM 2 and we're just a little bit stuck because we can't get these communication centers going. We can't build any radios and it's driving me mental because that's we're basically stuck in Africa because we can't communicate with anyone else on the planet. We are clearing this alien machinery and that's going to take four days and that will allow us the space to build the comm. We do, we should have the power right now. That's fine. We should be okay on power, um, but we can't do anything until we clear this space. Um, what I did come up in the comments of the last video, uh, thank you, Knox, for pointing out that I missed, is we have an extra engineer. We've got an engineer doing nothing at all right now. So, um, you know what? Why don't you start clearing something? You, you know, we're going to need the space anyway, so who's free? Yeah, Matt Boyd, you're free. Start excavating that. We're going to need it at some point. We may as well get it cleared out. There's a ton of rooms that we have to build. We want to get the Advanced Warfare Center up and running so we'll have better healing and all sorts of other little benefits. We're going to need the Psionics area at some point. There's all sorts of stuff that we're going to need that we don't have any space for. And I'm, I'm concerned about space. It seems the base building part of this is rather fidgety and a little more fine-tuned and you want to be really careful of your placements unlike enemy unknown where you had a lot more well space to work with but that's that that's where we're at so they're clearing that and he's going to start clearing that when they're done clearing that i can take one of those engineers and put them over to this new one that'll make that move a little bit faster nothing going on in the proving ground right now let's see if we can correct that actually because there are some things i want i really want another exosuit I'm a big fan of the exosuit. Um, that takes an Illyrium core, and we only have two of those. And the other thing I want is experimental grenades. So, and I also want experimental heavy weapon. And I actually also want ex more experimental ammo. I kind of want everything. Just truth be told, I kind of want everything that's in the proving ground right now. Um, the experimental heavy weapon will just take an Illyrium core. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna plunk down on that one. Give me that. Thank you. And I think I'm going to treat myself to another exosuit. Because that's, that's, you know, rockets. Just long story short, rockets. So, yeah, this is going to eat up all my Illyrium cores. But, yeah, give me one of those, please. Um, I could technically build one more skull check, But that's all we're going to be able to do in the Proving Ground for a while. There's an engineer in there already working on that. So, cool. Um, yeah, we're stuck. We basically need to get these comm centers up and running, sort of right now-ish. We're a little low on soldiers. Uh, we've taken a lot, and I mean a lot, of injuries in the last couple of missions. So we're a little light on the A-team. So kind of between now and the time the comm centers get up and running, kind of hoping for a little bit of quiet. That would be nice. That would be really nice. So, well, let's see what happens. We could go grab some supplies up here. That's about it, actually. That's about all we got going on. Um, I'm going to take us over to HQ because we still have that healing bonus over there. If we tick time away at HQ, our guys will heal up faster. So let's do that. Let's see if we can kill a couple of days over here. The muton autopsy is done. All right, what did we learn from that exactly? Advanced Grenade Launcher has opened up. That sounds really good. And Plasma Grenade. Oh, I kind of regret doing the uh, the Advanced Grenade now. I should have waited for Plasma Grenade. But I didn't know. There you go. So we've got Plasma Grenades available when we next we get some time in the Proving Ground and we have the materials to do it. All right. Well, what can you be researching next? Yep, Advanced Grenade Launcher. Excellent. Uh, further than our conventional launcher and a larger radius. Perfect. I'm definitely going to want one of those. And the Plasma Grenade. Oh, well, that's pretty self-explanatory, but substantially more lethal and destructive. Yep, no kidding. No kidding. Um, Nox in the comments was also telling me I need to get on magnetic weapons now. So get that immediately. And I'm, I'm willing to take his advice. He's a very, very dedicated, hardcore XCOM fan. And if he says mag weapons are the way to go and I needed to research them, you know, three episodes ago, then great. Take it. Like we said about the psionics lab, 
Um, there's really, yes, I want psionics right now, and I have been told they're even more powerful and effective in XCOM 2 than they are in Enemy Unknown, but I don't have the room for it. I, I don't have the room. I would love to build the Shadow Chamber as my new objective. I would love to build the Shadow Chamber. I can't. I don't have the room for it. We're working on it. We'll probably have to do the Shadow Chamber next. I have a feeling we kind of need to be moving a little bit faster on the campaign because the Avatar project is just going to steamroll over me. So when this alien machi machinery is done, which is one day, let's, let's keep time moving here. Let's keep things ticking along, and that'll get our soldiers healed up faster as well. When that is done, like right now, let's view that room, and let's... No, I'm not going to build the Shadow Chamber. I'm going to finally, finally build Resistance Calms. Yes. Oh, lordy, this has been a long time coming. Uh, yes, you are absolutely in there. And can I assign someone else to that? No. All right, no, it's just one engineer to build it. That's fine. I can throw this other extra engineer into clearing the alien machinery. So that'll go a little bit faster. Yep, Harumi Yamada, go help your friend there dig that stuff out, please. Thank you. Let's go back to the world map. Let's tick some time away, see what's going to happen first. Might get experimental heavy weapons. Supply raids, you say? Okay. What could we be doing with that? West Africa, raid the Advent Convoy. Sure. Yeah, okay. I don't know what kind of troops I've got available, but sure, why not? We really don't have anything else to be doing at the moment, and that Avatar project is halfway full. All right, let me fidget with the team and see what we want to do here. Okay, we can put together a pretty solid team after that time we took healing up at HQ. So, Johnny Walker, of course, our sharpshooter. Vasquez, my personal favorite ranger. Um, bringing Cecile Dubois back in. Giving her the medkit, I know she's not specced for healing, but somebody may as well have the medkit. It doesn't do us any good to leave it at home. Even if she can't use her gremlin to do it, she could still cuddle up next to somebody and use a medkit. Uh, Rohit is back in action with the exosuit because of course and I've given him the gas grenade just so we can kind of take that out for a spin and see what that might do Vasquez has got the venom rounds because I, I just think Vasquez is going to often always have the venom rounds I just it seems part of her personality and we have Sarah Ferguson back in action now she is shaken so I've given her the mind shield again I understand that won't stop her from freaking out if she gets shot or she witnesses people get Getting shot up badly but again if there's any sectoids on the map at least they're not going to be able to mess with her so that's the reason for giving her the mind shield I know it's not really helping with the shaken but I just kind of like to keep her as stable as we can if there's any sectoids on the map all right let's go raid an alien convoy and well probably shoot some aliens and steal their stuff Alrighty, no turn counter on this one, so we've got all the time in the world to be dealing with this. Let's send Vasquez up first to kind of start getting an eyeball on everything. Um, not a lot of cover around here either, though. See what happens if you go up there. Okay, alright, well, we got some folks up there. Um, one Advent mech. One advent, I don't know what you are. You might be a stun lancer. You might be just sort of a souped-up regular advent soldier. And the guy in the white armor, I'm not 100% sure what you do for a living. I'm sure we're going to find out. So, okay, don't do anything right now, Vasquez. Rohit. Rohit, Rohit, Rohit. Why don't you move up to here in case you need to start getting all rockety and splody in the reasonably near future. Um, where's going to be a good place for Johnny Walker? Um, oh, can we, can we get inside there? We can get inside that van. Okay. Why don't you go up here, Johnny? That seems like that might be a decent spot for a sniper. And you can also poke your nose into the van and see if the supplies are in there. I do see something glowing in there. So yeah, nobody do anything. Nobody do anything until we're ready to move here. And... If I dashed you up there, that will not break concealment. So, Sarah, I don't really want you to be 100% on the front lines because you're shaken. So, like Johnny Walker in the last mission, we kind of need you to get through this really, really solidly. Now, 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 Cecile Dubois. Here's the thing with you, Cecile. 
you're not specced for healing, but you are specced to deal with robots. You have the Haywire Protocol, which means we could maybe try and mess with this mech. And I don't hate the sound of that at all. All right, you do that. I'm just going to get everybody set up where I want them. Rohit, I think you can largely stay right there. Why don't you just uh, overwatch that, please? Okay. Now, are they going to start walking in this direction? Not really. They're actually kind of walking the wrong way. Just don't go too far, guys. Oh, if, if you all wanted to hang out right there, that'd be super. If you all wanted to stay right there. Uh, Johnny, do you have a shot on them from there? No, you do not. All right. And all these things are on fire, so please don't path through the fire. That will break concealment if I do that. What about if I go up here? Apparently not. Apparently not. All right, let me let me not do Johnny right now. Let's not do that right now. Let's uh Cecile. What's your uh no, that's combat protocol. No, not stabilize. Haywire protocol. How far can you can you get that guy? You can. You can. Attempt to seize control of a targeted enemy robot. Interesting. Okay, hold off on that right now. Cecile, hold off on that right now. Now, while they're all nice and grouped up, how far could you maybe... Oh, gas grenade, probably not the wisest move because we've got one robot. I mean, it'll certainly affect the advent troopers. I do kind of want to take this out for a spin. But no, let's go... Uh, you Oh, you can, you can just... You can put this right in the middle of them. Right in the middle of them. Um, yeah, go ahead and do that. Let's start this party. Rohit, get the party started. Oh, shredded damage, shredded everywhere. Oh, yeah. I know we're spotted. It's okay. We just blew up some stuff. A heavy infantry armor system, you say? Okay. We'll, we'll cope with that. Well, we're going to learn to cope with that. Now, give me Cecile, please. I want Cecile. Oh, did he move out of range? He moved out of range. That's fine. We'll, co we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Come up here, Cecile. I bet that'll put you back in range. Let's see how this works. Oh, still not in range. Really? I'm kind of surprised by that because you were in range a little bit ago. All right. Um, let's go with... Uh, you're in range of nothing, basically. Hmm. Not the best place to put you. All right, just shooty, shooty, the Advent Shield Bearer. Shield Bearer. Okay. Yeah, definitely take this guy down. I don't like the sound of him at all. Thank you. I, I don't like the sound of that guy one bit. I don't know. I don't even want to know what he does. Let's just kill him. Uh, let's be careful of that car. I'm not 100% sure that's not going to explode. Is there anywhere? Oh, oh, Vasquez, you have run and gun now. We got that for you in the last episode. You have run and gun. My favorite perk in the entire history of XCOM. So I can put you... Um, where did the other guy go, by the way? Did he kind of duck behind the truck? We'll figure that out in a sec. Um, with the shield bearer down and the robot in a position to be taken down... The other guy is less of, well, I say he's less of a threat. I'm not actually sure what kind of Advent Soldier he is. Ooh, four-turn cooldown on run and gun. That, I believe, is doubled from Enemy Unknown. That's a long, long cooldown there. Okay, yeah, shooty, shooty. Oh, do we just want to go guaranteed damage with the grenade? Yeah, guaranteed damage every time. Guaranteed damage. He's only got the three hit points. A regular grenade will do just fine with this guy. Just fine. Perfect. All right, two down out of three. Now, where did the other guy go? That's my only concern. Are, did you duck behind this man? I feel that you did. Johnny, do you have a line of sight on him if I put you right here? Nope. Okay, where'd he go? Rohit's already made his move, so we're back to Sarah Ferguson. Um, yeah, I don't want to do too much with you, Sarah, at all. I'm not really sure where he went. 
he just kind of disappeared. Okay, um, Sarah, why don't you move up with Seal? I'm going. And give me an Overwatch, please. He's got to come out of hiding at some point if he wants to shoot us. And Johnny, you can pistol Overwatch, please. Thank you. He'll he'll turn up somewhere. Did we kill him? Did Oh. Okay, I'm just being dopey. He's right there. He blew up with the car. All right, we're fine. We're well, I say we're fine. We're not fine. I'm sure there's plenty more enemies on the map. But uh Johnny, open up this door. And what exactly is in there? Do we can we get a thing in here? Or do we just hide in here? I don't see anything to interact with. So for right now, why don't you get on top of the truck, van, whatever it is. That'll be a pretty decent spot for you. And just pistol overwatch for me. Just hang out up there. Vasquez. Vasquez, Vasquez. Good job with the robot, Vasquez. Uh, why don't you go here? See if you can get an eyeball on anyone else, please. Okay. Oh, three sectoids? Three sectoids. Are you kidding me? Johnny's got the pistol in. Solid shot on one of them. Good. So my very first question, who's got the flashbang grenade? Who's packing that one? I think it's Sarah Ferguson. Yes, Sarah has the flashbang grenade. And Sarah's got a good opportunity to put that to good use. So, Sarah, come up here. Sarah, I'm going to deal with a lot of your shaken problems right now. Because three sectoids that are stunned are three very ineffective sectoids. Off you go. Yep. All of them are disorientated. Disoriented. That's, disorientated is not how you pronounce that word. Disoriented, which means I have effectively nullified, well, pretty much all their abilities except shooting me. So, let's see what we can do. You're never going to get a grenade that far, are you? No. That's fine. Just take a regular shot at anyone. I don't even really care at this point because I'm just waiting for Rohit. Great, you shot through a truck and actually did some pretty decent damage to those guys. Oh, Rohit, I have a job for you. Uh, yeah, go to there. And I wonder if this is a good time to play around with the gas grenade. After initial grenade blast creates a cloud of gas that will poison any units... It's not a bad time to play with it, except I can't get it all the way over there. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get this grenade over there either, am I? Okay, Rohit, you're actually a little ineffective where you are, so why don't I at least bring you up here so you'll be closer in the next round. Okay. Now, they should only be able to shoot me, which is not nothing. I mean, they can do some decent damage doing that, but I should have nullified many of their abilities. Like, you know, they just shot Johnny for a lot of damage. Probably because he's wide open on top of a van. Um, what are you guys going to do? You're also going to take a shot, but that's a miss at Johnny. Yeah, Johnny's not in a super awesome spot right now. But he is going to get his revenge shot. Oh, I love it. Snipers just get so many free actions. So many free actions. Okay, Rohit, you should be in a much better position now. A much better position. So I think I will play around with the gas grenade. Just because I want to. I, I got it. I may as well play with it. So gas grenade these guys. Let's see if it, what the initial damage is. That might make it worth it in and of itself. Yup. Okay. So three regular damage. And they're all poisoned. Oh, and I also removed his overwatch. That's no bad thing. Although I bet... Yeah. Yeah, there's an icon popping up right there. We would be poisoned if we moved into that cloud as well. So, long story short, Vasquez, not a good time for the sword attack. Don't do that. What's your best shot? Just give me your best shot, please. Uh, sure, yeah, take that. Take that. Oh, an unfortunate miss there. A very unfortunate miss. It's okay, Vasquez. We'll, we'll learn to cope. Um, Johnny, what do you got going on? Well, your lightning hands should be up for a start, so take that shot. That's one down, and then follow that right up with a regular shot from your sniper rifle. 
Oh, sharpshooters. Sharpshooters, sharpshooters. Oh, there's some loot up there in the poison gas cloud. That's a little annoying. Promotion for Johnny if he lives. That's good. Um, what can we do with you, Sarah Ferguson? I kind of... I kind of don't want you to weirdly be doing anything. I just want to get you through this mission without taking a hit. But if you, you know, maybe had a shot, I'd be okay with it. Yeah, shush, Central. I There's a poison gas cloud where the things are. I'm not sending anyone in there right now. Um, no, we'll, we'll come back to you in a sec, Sarah. All right. Overdrive Dubois. Can you get a shot in? Oh, I know what you probably can do if you can't. Can you get your little... Ah, uh, you're a little too far away for your combat protocol. little too far away. You're not too far away for a grenade, though. Although that would probably destroy that loot. And I'd really love it if there might be an Illyrium core in there. We could really use one of those. Uh, you know what? Send your aid protocol to Johnny Walker. He's in a bit of an open position right now. He may as well get a defense boost from you. Yeah, plus 20 defense. I think that's a solid move. He's wide open. So if this sectoid takes another shot, well, at least you'll have some buffed up defense. Why don't you overwatch that just in case the sectoid does something stupid like run out into the open? Are you psychicking? You should... Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Okay, you are no longer disoriented, but you just took some poison damage. How'd that feel? I'm not hating the gas grenade. Yep, you did pop into the open right in a good spot for Sarah. That should really help with her shake, and she's making it through this mission, and she's getting some solid kills in. Okay, that, the gremlin is back. That's good. And let's just start moving in this direction without actually going into the poison gas cloud. Because that would be bad. Nobody likes poison gas clouds. Uh, wow, kind of filled the map with the poison here. Uh, I guess just go to there for right now. We're kind of just killing time until the poison goes away. I hope it goes away in time for me to get that loot. I don't want to miss that. Can you get to... That's not poisoned. It's not in the loot thing, but it's not poison. I love that you speak French. I love the languages in this game. The fact that you can set them to native languages. That is really just a super nice touch that helps with the immersiveness. Um... Sarah, I don't want you to move up very far. So I'm going to just move you to here. I also don't necessarily want to bunch anyone up, and, and you know, in case somebody shows up with grenades, that would be bad. Johnny, let's get you out of the middle of nowhere, really exposed. Why don't you move down to some actual cover? That's probably a good move. You've already taken one hit. Oh, I should move Cecile over to him to heal him. No, that's fine. You can overwatch for right now. And, yeah, you can also overwatch, to be honest with you. I'm just waiting for the gas to go away. Oh, okay, you've got nothing to do. Why don't you go heal Johnny? Why don't you go deal with that? That's, that's a smart thing to be doing. Yep, do a medkit heal on him, please. Thank you. That'll boost him back up a little bit. Excellent. Good. Good. That should take him to full health. Uh, wow, this poison sure does linger. I guess I think we're going to miss that loot, but that's okay. That's okay. Probably, you know, 10 Illyrium cores in there. All right, what do we got? What do we got? I see one sectoid, and I can't really see what the others are. Somebody's got a lot of... Oh! Oh, it's one of them who's he what's it's the, the codex thingies. Two sectoids and a codex. Oh, that ain't so good. Nobody likes that. Um... Um, and everyone's kind of used up their moves here. You know what, Sarah? You're just going to have to overwatch this. And Johnny, um, no, not the sectoid. How about the other guy? Yet, I, oh, I maybe shouldn't have watched, overwatched Sarah. You, your lightning hands is not up. That's okay. Take, take this shot. Take this shot. Missed. All right. That, that's fine. That's fine. I'll learn to cope with this. Alright, what are they gonna do? Oh, the sectoid's on fire. That's no bad thing. I don't think I did that. You're teleporting. Okay, hi! I, I do appreciate you moving closer to me. That's a nice touch. 
Um, oh, this looks very bad. This looks very, very bad. Weapon disabled, weapon disabled, weapon disabled. Uh, somebody's got an overwatch on him. Oh, it's Vasquez. Cool. A miss, but a good effort. A good effort. Uh, that's... Oh! Oh, that's a bad hit on Vasquez. That is a super bad hit on Vasquez. And what are you doing? You're psychicking something. And nobody's got an effective weapon right now. Well, super. Super. Uh, we lost the loot. No great surprise there. Um, Rohit, you still have a grenade, though. You still have a grenade. Your, your weapon may be jammed up, but you still have a grenade. I, okay, everyone out. Everyone go, go, everyone go somewhere else. Everyone go somewhere else. The last time we had a codex, we actually took it out before it was able to do anything to us. And I've been warned that codexes are like the worst things in the world. Um, by several commenters. Several commenters have said, boy, you got lucky with the Codex. So I'm just going to avoid everything it's doing and just try and blow it up. That's my move. That's what I'm going to do. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Um, okay, Rohit, we're done with you right now. Oh, you make more of you. Super. Vasquez. Um, what can you do? Who can you slash? That guy? Do it. Do it. I'd like to get you out of the range of fire because you took a big hit. Well, I solved your clone problem with my electric sword. Exactly, Vasquez. Um, you. You. I was specifically warned about these clouds, so I, I'm, I'm going to take the commenter's advice and just move out of the cloud. Uh, there's nothing you're really going to be able to do. Oh, you could actually do your combat protocol. You can actually do your combat protocol. Do it. To that guy? Really? How about somebody else? Like that guy. Do it. You know what? Just because I don't have an operational gun right now, doesn't mean I can't hurt you. I know all we have to do is reload them, but I'd like to see if we can make this guy go away so he doesn't do something else. And we do have other options besides guns. Oh, you've made another one of you. Spiffy. Uh, you? You don't need a gun to cut somebody in half with a sword. Go ahead and do that. Off you go, Sarah. Yep. Solved another problem. That's what XCOM 2 is all about. Problem solving. And Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Now, when your weapon is out of ammo, as it is... Does that also mean your pistol is out of ammo? Fire pistol. Fire pistol. Nope, your pistol ain't out of ammo. Unfortunate miss. That really would have solved all of these codex problems right there. So, okay, we don't need a gun. We don't need a gun codex. We have other options besides guns. Admittedly, some of our op other options are indeed guns. Oh, that's why we move people out of the cloud. Thank you, comment section. The cloud gets all splody. Good to know. Good to know. That's why I love my commenters. Okay, pretty decent hit on Rohit there. Not nothing. Teleporting, and what's your move going to be now? Are you going to make another... Okay, you're just going to shoot. Oh, 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 that was a big hit on Cecile. Big hit on Cecile. These guys have got to go away. These guys have got to go away sort of right now-ish. Uh, Johnny, is your lightning hands up? Sure is. Go ahead and shoot that guy. Thank you. Oh, a miss. That's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. And everyone else kind of needs to reload. Don't suppose you could... Yeah, I guess... Actually... Oh, yeah, you can fire a pistol again, can't you? You can fire a pistol again. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You know, when this series is over, I see you and Vasquez being the stars of this show. Uh, yeah, go ahead and reload. Seems you get three things you can do in one round. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. All right, what's our move here? We've got one guy up here still. Um, where can we put you, Vasquez, where you have a shot, but you're not completely in the line of fire? Uh, pretty much nowhere. 
pretty much nowhere at all. Go over here. Does that give you a shot at anybody? No. All right, overwatch it, because if I can't see him, he probably can't see me. Uh, you have a grenade left. Is there anywhere you could be putting that to good use? There's the other guy up there. There's the other guy up there. Um, can you slash him? You sure can. You sure can. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. I really hope there's not more up here that's gonna, that are going to activate. Put him out of his misery real quick. Okay, no more activations. That That's good. That's good. Um, does kind of put Sarah Ferguson in the line of fire. But we will learn to cope with that. Is there anywhere that I can put you that you'll get a shot? Not really. All right, you may as well just reload then. Get your gun back in action. Uh, you can't do your combat protocol again, then, can you? No. You can do your aid protocol, though. No. Can you put it, please, on Sarah Ferguson, who is kind of up in the middle of nowhere? Yes. Please do the aid protocol to Sarah Ferguson. That way, at least she'll have a little extra defense. I'd prefer she didn't take a hit. That would be my ideal. And Rohit, can you come up here... And see if you can get a grenade over to that guy. You got a little better distance than most people. Where, where'd he go? There he is. There he is. Hi. Hi. I'm going to throw a grenade down your throat. Boom. Sectoid goes splody. All right. Now what? Now what? What do you got for me? Oh, all hostiles are down. Okay. All right. Got through that one. Got through it. Four wounds. Four wounded, rather. Who? Actually, it only took me eight turns. I'm surprised by that. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy when the mission doesn't have a turn counter on it, but I completed that in what I think is a good time frame. All right, let's go home. Well, no surprise. Everyone is horribly, horribly wounded, except Sarah Ferguson, which is good. That's the one person we didn't want to be horribly wounded. Now, Johnny, you actually got a promotion out of that, and we're into some very new territory. We have not been down this far with anyone, particularly a sharpshooter. So at Captain Johnny Walker, what do you have? Kill zone. Take a reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire. Okay, do I have to set that up, or does that is that just sort of a general cone of fire within Johnny's eyeball range? I don't know the answer to that. Or face off, fire once at every visible enemy with your pistol? Are you insane? I can shoot at every visible enemy with my pistol. That must have a ridiculous cooldown. That's probably got to be like a five-turn cooldown. Um... I don't know how reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire works. So if I'm making the wrong move with kill zone, I don't know what to tell you about that because face off just seems so insanely ridiculous that I can't not take face off. Fire once at every visible enemy. I got six visible enemies. I'm taking six shots with my pistol. Yes, please. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Um, if Killzone is the best perk in the game, please let me know. But more importantly, please let me know how it works so I can think about that for my next sharpshooter. Because um, I don't think Johnny's going to be around for a little while. He's gravely wounded. Yeah, all right, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that choice. That just seems stupid, crazy, insane. And Cecile, you got a promotion. Where are you at? You're up to Lieutenant. You can do field medic. Med kits have two extra charges or scanning protocol. Trigger an instant scan of the area, increasing the specialist sight radius substantially for one turn and revealing any hidden or disguised enemies. Okay, I was kind of asking about this a few episodes if somehow we could use the gremlin to go on scouting missions. That seems to be what that entails. Uh, increases sight radius and revealing any hidden enemies. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if we should just put it into field medic, though. Because that would be three charges on a med kit. Even though she can't use the gremlin to do the heal, she'd at least still be able to heal three times. And that's not nothing. Um, I think, yes, I'm going to go field medic on this. 
And then our other specialist, Lucy Brown, when she gets down here, I might give her scanning protocol. So we might kind of mix and match between, you know, the medic spec and the combat spec. We might kind of change things up between our two specialists right now. Getting a third specialist would not be the worst idea in the world. So, yeah, I'm going to take field medic because we are we're getting to the point where we can take some hits. They're not instant kills. So we want to be able to heal up in the battle. We want to be able to heal up on site um, where we're getting a little better armor. We can take a few hits, take a few knocks and still not be killed. Uh, we may as well be healing up while we're on the front. All right, cool. So what do we get out of that? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Codex brains, corpses, many, many corpses, alien alloys. Oh, we got one Illyrium core. That's cool. Good. I'm going to always use those. 139 supplies. That's not nothing at all. That's not nothing. Advent Shield Bearer. Most heavily armored of the conventional alien forces. All right. All right. Well, maybe we could use that armor to our own purposes, Tygen. That sounds like something that you could be researched. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, Sarah Ferguson is will restored and increase. So Sarah Ferguson is a little more hardcore right now. Uh, we are building the resistance comms. We are clearing alien machinery. Since we got that Illyrium core, let me just have a real quick look in the proving ground. See if there's anything we could be doing with that. Could I, I could get another exosuit. I could get another exosuit. Oh, I really like the sound of that. All right, you know what? Up to the comments section. We've got one Illyrium core to play with. Do I dump it on an, uh, another exosuit? So I could have two people out in the field with rockets because that seems really hardcore. Uh, we're doing experimental grenades. Uh, do we want to go with experimental? No, I'm sorry. We're doing experimental heavy weapon. Um, and I think, did we also do experimental grenade? Let me just check what's coming down the road here. Hang on. Let me, uh, what's, what's actually coming down? Magnetic weapons. Uh, we are researching experimental heavy weapons and the exosuit. Okay, so uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, never mind comment section. I'm, I'm already doing another exosuit. I forgot what I did at the beginning of this very episode. So sure, let's get a experimental grenade. Absolutely, let's get experimental grenade. Why not? Oh, wait a minute. Plasma grenade. Plasma grenade. Yeah, those are good. Let's let's get us one of them. Yep, give me one of them. Yep. The combat missions just fry my brain because it's it's just like a delicate chess match. So I often forget what I've been researching and what I've been building. So there it is. All right, good. Resistance comms in seven days. We can finally get out of Africa and get some other world map sites going because this this uh, this Avatar project is kind of rolling right over us until we can get out of this continent and make contact with some other resistance cells in the world. But I think for here, we'll call it a part and we'll pick up some more XCOM 2 in the next episode. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.